up everybody out there? It's me, JW, and um, I'm here at my uh, home in Cairns, Cairns, Australia. And I want to welcome you to another JW Fan Pod. Uh, I believe this is like number seven or number eight. I um, want to uh, say thank you to everybody who sent in questions and stuff for this Fan Pod. Uh, this one's definitely going to, I know I say this every time, but this one's definitely going to be a bit more brief than uh, than the last few because um, we didn't post it as many times and we didn't get as many questions so maybe that's the key so you guys don't have to sit around listening to me for like half an hour 45 minutes <laughs> all right so uh, yeah everybody uh, welcome uh, great uh, hope you guys are um, uh, for those of you who are watching this um, I want to say thank you again appreciate it and um, <clears throat> things have been good oh, Things have been good with me. I'll just give you. Um, I've been good. I've been busy traveling and performing. Uh, I've been traveling to PNG quite, quite a lot recently, uh, doing some tours and uh, performances, and it's been awesome. Plus, still doing my normal, uh, regular performances here in Cairns and around the uh, North Queensland area. Uh, been writing and uh, yeah, getting some new songs ready for uh, for release. So, yep, uh, this should be. A, um, there should be a new video clip coming out very very soon I'm not going to tell you what it is, I'll keep it as a surprise but that's coming out soon so stay tuned for that, we'll, we'll let you know it's going to be awesome uh, and uh, thank you to my management, Miranda Music Management uh, over there in uh, California, U USA they've always been uh, awesome and uh, uh, they do some great things for me so I appreciate it alright so let's get on with the questions um, there's only a few, like I said, so this is going to be good, nice and quick. First one is from Donna, and uh, just so you know, if I ever had to pick, if I really, I get a lot of people, almost on a daily basis, that you know either post on Facebook or tell me in person, or um, there's many different ways, and I, I get it almost daily. People come up to me and say, "I'm your biggest fan." It's it's kind of a, uh, I hear it a lot and I uh, definitely appreciate it every time but if I had to say if I had to really pick someone who I think is my biggest fan you know consistently over many many years it's this lady Donna my, my biggest fan over in Canada uh, and so um, I love I love Donna she's awesome and uh, she's asking a question right now hey Justin if you were in a movie what kind of movie would it be drama comedy action and what what would your character be like much love, bro. Much love, Donna. Um, okay, that's a good question. I think I could probably do acting. You know, like I used to act and do drama when I was in high school. Uh, and obviously, if anybody's ever seen some of my clips, especially my comedy video clips, you can see that I do a bit of acting. Uh, <laughs> I like to uh, kind of kind of take some liberties with the camera and and, and get creative. And so it's not just a music video. Um, I think. I could do any of those, drama, comedy, or action. Uh, probably I would say, yeah, probably comedy, or maybe action, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, character be like, there's one actor that I really like uh, consistently, because uh, he's, he's pretty, yeah, he's kind of versatile. He does mostly action, but he's pretty good with comedy, like, He's got his own distinct personality uh, on screen, and that comes through, um, and uh, a bit of drama as well, but mainly action comedy, and that's Mark Wahlberg. I really like his movies. Um, he's, he's great, you know, and he's definitely got, like I said, he's got that distinct kind of unique humor as well that always comes through in his, in, in, in his films. So I want to be something like that if I was an actor. Okay, next question is from my Uncle Paul Blewett, and he's asking me, uh, when are you coming to Rabaul? Obviously, this is old because uh, we posted the first uh, um, announcement uh, for the for the fan part quite a few weeks back. Uh, so this is this is an old question. Um, I just just came back from Rabaul uh, in PNG um, yesterday. Oh wait, was it yesterday? Or was it the day before? I think it was the day before. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it was the day before. I came back on Monday from Rabaul. I was up there doing some uh, a performance, 
and I've been up there quite a few times recently. I love Rabat. It's beautiful. One of the best places in PNG. Great people, great town, great community, and and uh, it's a beautiful place. Uh, and I was happy to go back once again. So uh, thanks. Hi to every, all my friends and fans in Rabat. I love you guys. Thanks once again for uh, for a fantastic trip up there. I can't wait to come back. All right, next question is from Maleta, a big fan of mine in Las Vegas. And uh, Aleta is wonderful. I love her. Uh, She's asking me if you could pick from past, present, or even future one person that you would like to meet. Who do you think it would be? I read this earlier, and I had to think about it for a little while before I uh, before I recorded this. Uh, and I thought of quite a few different people, but I think I guess the best one that came to my mind, you know, at that time. I mean, if if I really sat down and thought about it for for ages and I'm sure I would come up with someone, maybe someone else, but definitely someone who uh, I would love to have met and who is a huge inspiration uh, is Bob Marley. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Bob Marley music and, um, you know, I love his songs. And But even more than that, it's with Bob Marley, it's anyone who, you know, kind of, realizes the impact he's had on the world uh, since his death um, and while he was alive as well but especially since since he died his uh, his impact on the world was so much more than just musical it's social and cultural uh, and he just you know he touched he just struck this amazing chord with with people all over the world especially in developing countries uh, like you know, in my own experience from, from PNG, you know, Bob Marley is to this day uh, so recognized and his music is still loved just as much as it ever was uh, in Africa and the Caribbean and basically all developing countries. He was, you know, he, he had such a huge impact both musically and culturally. Uh, and, um, you know, it's just amazing how one person can have, you know, can can do something so uh, so big and so so can be so influential you know so I'd love to meet him and yeah to see what he's like but uh, yeah legend Bob Marley okay the next two questions or they're more like uh, kind of comments I guess from Aleta again and uh, Rachent or Rachent Tegs Anderson sorry if I pronounced that wrong uh, uh, a letter saying, in this video, who is the little dude in the poster on the wall? She's talking about my video clip um, so much from my album Rain of Morrowind. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, check it out. It's uh, it's uh, the music video for, for my song So Much. It's on YouTube. Go have a look on my channel. Uh, it's an awesome clip. It's very funny. It's, it's a comedy clip and, and skit as well. So uh, if you haven't seen it, make sure you watch it because you'll you'll um, I think you'll really enjoy it you'll be laughing most of the way through the clip it's very funny uh, and uh, there's a shot in there where I wake up in the morning and I look at my wall and there's a poster uh, of Justin Bieber <laughs> and he's like my idol in this in the in the actual skin of the clip so yeah that's it was Justin Bieber that's that's correct everyone kind of recognizes uh, recognizes him uh, but it was a funny it was a funny thing all right, next one is from Shera, and uh, she's asking me, when do you plan to settle down? Uh, and the truth is, I don't know. I mean, I definitely will. I definitely will uh, it's at some point. I know that, but I can't say for sure. So that's a really tough question. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe ask me in a couple of years, <laughs> and I'll have a better idea. All right. Next question is from Melanie, who's a big fan of mine over in Germany, and she's fantastic. Uh, really, really, um, really appreciate her. Uh, she's awesome and, and a very enthusiastic fan. Uh, Melanie's asking me, "Do you always want to make? Did, uh, did you always want to make music, or did you want to be a firefighter or a policeman when you were a little kid?" And she's saying, "You know what I mean." Yeah, I know what you mean, Melanie. Um, the truth is, I think, yes, 
from a very early age, I definitely definitely wanted to make music. Um, the funny thing is though, when I was a kid, I, I didn't always want to be a singer. When I was like, because when I was about, you know, sort of seven, eight, nine years old, when I was in, you know, like grade four, five, around that time, and that was that was uh, when certain like rock music was really popular at that time, and certain bands like Bon Jovi and Def Leppard and and um, those kind of bands. They're still popular today with a lot of people. Um, those kind of bands, you know, I really like that at that time. That was my favorite kind of music, especially those two bands, Bon Jovi and Def Leppard, really liked their music and their songs. And, um, you know, I used to love watching their music videos on MTV when I was a kid. Uh, it, you know, I was like obsessed, you know, I was like a big, big fan. And uh, typical kind of kid and teenager watching their music videos and I was very impressionable. And basically because of that, you know, had a big influence on me. I, you know, watching those bands and other bands like that, I wanted to be a lead guitarist in a rock band, <laughs> you know, because you'd watch those music videos at that time and the lead guitarists always looked so cool, you know, they were like the, they were just as much a star as the as the lead singer and, and they just looked awesome with their guitars when they used to do their solos and stuff, it was, it was cool, so, um, yeah, I wanted to be a lead guitarist, uh, so, and then wasn't until about, when I was about, 12, 13, when I was in, when I just started getting into high school and I started going into um, uh, talent shows, it was by accident. This guy, I was singing, I never considered myself a singer and didn't want to be a singer. Um, and this guy, I was singing in a choir. It was a class that we had to take in school. And um, this guy heard me, an older student, like a, kind of like a mentor. He heard me singing and he asked me to go and join in a, a sing a, do a performance with him in a talent show at school. And I said, okay, you know, I was kind of reluctant and nervous, but I said, okay, and we did it. And it was that, that was the kind of, um, that was a d defining moment when I kind of switched over to, you know, considering and maybe wanting to be a singer. Before that, I was like, now nah, I want to be a guitarist. And I still can't even play guitar now. I'm still learning. I got a guitar back there. I don't know if you can see it in the background there. I'm learning guitar, uh, it's, it's, it's great, I love it, but it's pretty difficult as well, it's, it's a challenge, so uh, I'll keep going. So yeah, I hope that answers, answers your question. Alright, next one is from uh, Steven, and uh, Steven's asking, when's your next album due and when is your next performance? Okay, Steven, my next album, don't have a definite date, um, but should be later this year. Uh, at the moment, I'm kind of focusing on, I uh, just was talking about this with my management the other day, I'm mainly focusing on releasing individual songs right now, it, it seems to be uh, the trend right now, in, especially in the Pacific, you know, artists tend to release song by song and singles kind of thing, so that at the moment that's my priority, uh, song by song, uh, and I've got a lot of songs in the works right now, like both my own and collaborations with other artists, and uh, it takes time, it takes time to write and record and do all those things, but they're coming. So uh, yeah, there'll be some new music from me soon. Uh, just on that note, uh, for those of you who sometimes ask me about my new music, and uh, if, for those of you who aren't sure what, if I have any new music um, or what's the latest, um, I've just released a song recently with uh, a collaboration with quite a number of other artists, uh, the most uh, notable being Peter T from New Zealand, he's very, very um, hugely popular right now throughout the Pacific, uh, Peter T, you probably know his song My Baby, it was, it was huge uh, last year and the year before, um, I did a song with Peter T and um, it was produced by Whitcomb Media, who are the same guys that produce my, uh, most of my video clips now, so, uh, and it's called Handle That, so, if you get a chance, get on YouTube and uh, check out the music video for Handle That. It's uh, me and uh, Peter T, and uh, produced by Whitcomb Media. Uh, check out the music video, it's, it's pretty sweet. And that's uh, my latest song. So uh, go have a look, it's pretty cool. Uh, and, and actually, it's number one in PNG right now, so that's awesome. So uh, thanks to all the PNG fans for requesting it. Love you guys. 
and uh, thanks to PNGFM for uh, uh, supporting that, supporting my music all the time. Appreciate it very much. Um, and uh, my next performance, Stephen, is okay. I got uh, well, I got local po performances here in uh, Cairns this weekend coming up. Uh, Friday night here in Cairns at the Salt House, and Saturday night up in Port Douglas at um, at um, the Central Hotel in Port Douglas. Uh, and then next weekend, I'm coming back to PNG. Uh, next weekend being the uh, 18th, 19th, 20th. Easter weekend, I'm coming back to PNG. I'm performing in Lay uh, for the, uh, the game fishing titles. So I'll be in Lay next weekend for anybody uh, in Lay. Come check it out. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but it's very, very uh, likely that I could be performing in Port Moresby the following weekend, which is the 20, 24th, 20, uh, Thursday night, 24th of, uh, of April, which is uh, in about two weeks' time. It's not confirmed yet, so I can't say uh, definitely the venue uh, or the event. Uh, can't give that away just yet until it gets confirmed, but when it does, I'll let you know. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, that's my next three weeks coming up. Uh, next question is from Patsy... Towns, I think it's pronounced. Uh, I'm one of your favorite fans. Uh, is it possible for you to send us copies of your CDs? Okay, uh, Patsy. Actually, I, I can't send CDs out, just uh, like hard copy CDs, uh, because um, you know it's sort of it's uh, we we usually sell sell the CDs in the traditional way because um, it costs us money to make them. So it, it'd be kind of um, It'd be pretty costly if we were just to hand them out too often. We do, we do give away CDs occasionally. Uh, if you stay stay tuned to this, uh, my fan page. Uh, occasionally, we do give uh, do giveaways for CDs and other things as promos. Uh, but it's kind of you just got to get lucky and the, you know check at the right time. But uh, what you can do is you can either check out iTunes. All my songs are there on iTunes. Or, or there's also YouTube. Uh, all my music videos are up on uh, um, YouTube as well. So uh, you can make playlists on YouTube and uh, everything. So it's pretty sweet. So uh, sorry about that, Patsy. But uh, hope uh, hope you have some luck with YouTube. They're all there. So go check it out. And check out my uh, my new one, uh, Handle That. Okay. Next one is from Tanya. Oh, actually, this is the last question, guys. So like I said, nice and sweet, kind of. <laughs> it's only been about... Uh, nearly 20 minutes now so but that's shorter than what I usually do most of you guys will know that if you watch my previous fan points okay um, the last question now is from Tanya and uh, she, Tanya says I love you so much JW I'm a huge fan thanks Tanya and uh, I was wondering if you ever coming to Townsville okay uh, Tanya I do occasionally come to Townsville to perform uh, and uh, there is, uh, I've been chatting with uh, some promoters there, especially uh, DJ Red, who um, is a promoter and does events down in Townsville. Uh, he's pretty keen to get me down there um, once again. But uh, li like I said uh, before with the other performance, uh, it's not confirmed, so I can't say for sure uh, venue. Uh, I can't mention venue or dates or details, that kind of stuff, until it gets confirmed. So I'm sorry about that, but I promise once it, if uh, anything does get confirmed in Townsville, I will let you know so you can come and uh, watch the show and uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to meet as well. All right, so thanks Tanya for your question and thanks everybody who sent in questions. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this fan part. Uh, I want to thank you guys once again. I really appreciate, always appreciate your support and uh, appreciate all my fans out there. Love you guys. Um, you know, it's a blessing to have fans and uh, support for my music and stuff. And uh, once again, thanks to my management, Miranda Music. Uh, love you guys, and uh, always appreciate uh, your support and um, and uh, and work. So that's it, guys. That's it. This is probably the shortest JW fan part ever. It's a record. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and uh, stay tuned for another fan part uh, coming up in the uh, future sometime so you guys have a great week and weekend and uh, from me JW much love to all of you and I'll see you next time
Peace.